Greetings, my fellow children of Terra. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Star Valor Episode 3 Deep Space Survey. This zone is nebula interference. You can see in the bottom left. Uh, nebula interference means that your sensors just kind of don't work. It increases the chance of you getting uh, ancient relics to be able to upgrade your equipment, but it's hard to navigate around because you can't really see anything. I don't even think there's stations at this area. There doesn't seem to be. Let's try going north. Another boss. These debris field boss zones almost never have sh stations. But since my warp drive needs time to charge up and... Oh, no, there is one here. This isn't a debris field. It just happens to have a boss. But there's nothing else here. Weapons, nothing green. Heat sink is green. Um, did I get rid of my heat sink? No, I still have my heat sink. That's actually a slot that I could probably free up because I don't think my weapons need the extra cooling. But I don't think, I don't see anything worth buying over it. You have seen COT in the same sector as the Vangi Station? I think I have as well. They're just very uncommon. So if I'm in a Vengi Station sector, the chance of there being a COT... Oh, a Fury. Cool. I'm gonna make sure not to hit the wrong key there when I type out ship. Oh, and my first ancient relic. There it is. You get a little alert uh, anytime it spawns around you. And you'll also see in the bottom right here, ancient relic detected. Um, and the ancient relics allow you to upgrade blue to purple. I don't even have any blues, so I'm not going to be using it just yet, but they're, they're special. Uh, I should probably buy some additional energy cells and then put the other items away. So deposit, deposit, sell, and buy. Here's some Corvettes that are like okay-ish. This is such a great little indie. I know, Banlish. It is. You're the one that uh, that pointed me to it. So it has been a lot of fun. I'm looking for a COT base right now because I want a COT ship, and it has been brutal to try to find one. It'll break my will to find COT. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of hours already logged in this thing. Oh, I oh yes, a rebel base. There we go. Let's buy the contact. It well, you know, I'll find it. That contact costs a thousand. You know, I'm gonna be stingy and s go around because this is a small sector. It's not gonna take me very long to find a giant rebel base. But then it's up to whether or not they actually sell the ship. I kind of want to buy. And now I'm starting to level up engineering for power capacitors so I can have more energy storage in my guns or for my guns and engines and the like. Ooh, my energy is bad. All right, for real, where do they put this base? Well, it's not over here. <laughs> I'm being shot at. These guys are definitely way too strong for me to kill. I might as well get the full exploration bonus of searching the entire um, solar system.
All right, it's going to be the last spot I search on this stupid map, isn't it? Of course it will be. Just my luck. I somehow sailed past it, <laughs> like threading it perfectly. Another way to often find them is just to look at where the other ships, the other NPCs in the sector are going, because they tend to travel um, from station to station or station to jump gate. And there it is. But before I, before I dock there, I'm going to get the full sector bonus. So there it is, 1725 exploration XP for searching the whole sector. All right, trade. Ships. There's the Fury and a Phantom and an Archimedes. Unfortunately, it does not have what I'm looking for. Uh, so question, uh, what should the current priority be? Or should I continue to search for a bigger ship? I'll leave that up there for you all while I slightly improve my equipment. They have turbo flux refineries. Oh, another thing I need to do is let's mark this down for children of Terra. I'll do it in blue. COT rebel base. Now there is somewhere on this map the Children of Terra um, HQ, their like main base. But then another thing that I could do here is to pick up uh, quests to, to work for the COT. Now, unfortunately, these quests are probably a little bit too hard for me other than these two. But this will build up a lot of Children of Terra uh, reputation to take out. With, the, with the, quest, the two quests I just picked up is to kill um, Vengi ships which usually will net me more rep. And they happen to be over here in these two sectors that I've already been. All right, I am going to jump gate to... This is 3625, so the other one. DS5K, thank you for the resub. And Grimdar for the follow. Welcome. And it looks like you guys want me to still try to find a bigger ship. I am all for that if you are. So I'll keep jumping around, trying to find other COT bases that might sell me what I want to buy. I've I've used almost, not almost every ship, but I've used about half the ships in the game. A lot of the trader ships and minor ships I haven't bothered, but the combat ships, I've tried them all. And I do have a specific favorite that I'd like to find. That's what I'm trying to do. But if I can't, I could always just buy whatever. If I give up. Let's see. Contacts. There's only another SIP station here. Um, some of the gear is actually pretty okay. There was some blues here. Weapons are garbage. Razor Corvettes are, like, doable. One of the advantages of the Razor Corvette is that they can be really fast. They're a very fast ship. Um, when you have active flux, you gain extra max speed and critical damage bonus. So... I could always go with a Corvette in the meantime while I try to find the uh, the COT ship. Should I settle for a Razor for now? Yes or no? This, this is going to leave up to you if you'd like. So if you take a look at it, the weapon cooling goes up a little bit. The weapon max heat goes up a little bit. The range goes up. The stabilization goes down. Um, there's more of a bonus for Space Pilot, and it has, it's an independent ship, just like my current Valor, so it does have the independent slot. The agility goes down a little bit, but speed goes up, mass goes up, armor goes up, weapons, equipment, cargo, they all go up as well. It can have three passengers instead of two. Um, it is a general improvement. It's expensive, but like, eh, it's fine. And then it all also will unlock all of the Corvette um, equipment, because currently I have a little yacht. Now, I'm still tech level restricted, so just because I unlock the Corvette equipment doesn't necessarily mean I can immediately use it. Wow. Dead tie? Let's see what else they're selling here. So in terms of weapons, nothing special. They have some refineries and uh, warp towage, so I'll explain this while you vote. A tractor beam allows you to drag things around in the solar system. So if you find a derelict ship and you can drag it to like a station, you can use it or sell it. 
if you if there is no allied station or neutral station for you to uh, tow it to, then you need a warp gate towage array to allow you to jump through a warp gate with something in tow. So there's sort of two um, systems at play there. The flux accumulator is what allows you to build up more max flux, um, which can be useful if you have a lot of special abilities. And then uh, collector beams I talked about before, they're like tractor beams for loot. There is a better scanner here, the tachyon scanner, but it takes more space. Still, tied? I'm going to have to flip a coin. Seems like you have a little bit more time to, to, uh, to vote here. Let's take a look at the academy. Miner, navigator, fleet commander, damage resistance, and bonus to space pilot. All right, are we are we tie breaking? Yeah, I'm. T oh no, no one by one vote. Who was the last vote? Artie. Thanks for uh, voting. No. All right, let's keep looking for. Should I keep searching? out COT bases or should I do something else for now I'm going to keep looking for COT bases oh this is boss this is going to be a debris field boss I think given its size another thing to do to look at is for scanners uh, when you scan the sector if it says population none, there's really not going to be a base there. When it's mineral rich, you're more likely to find like PMC mining stations and the like. Uh, so if you take a look at the other PMC mining, well, okay, that was a bad example because this is mineral poor. This is rich minerals and this is medium minerals, which is why there's mining bases and medium minerals, why there's PMC um, mining there. Oh, there is a cloaking device back here. You know what? I'll take it. I'll equip it. Because I don't really need the he- Oh, jeez. Evade! Ha! Ah! Can't touch this. I don't really need the heat sink because my weapons aren't overheating. So I'll, I'll give myself the- Oh, I don't have the tech level for the cloaking device. Never mind. This is one honking nebula. I don't think there's any um, rubble bases here, though. I mean, if there is, it would take me like an hour to try to find them. So I'm going to give up. After. Yeah, I'm going to give up. Oh, distress signal. Hold on. There's something. It's probably a trap. No, it's a Pegasus ship. You're so cute. You're dead. Because <laughs> I was bored. I'm going to need to buy energy cells soonish. I'm also traveling in way more dangerous territory. The, um, the enemies here are so much higher level than I am. I'm at real risk. Oh, good. Asteroid run. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. And I'm dead. So the asteroid runs, that was just bad piloting. The asteroid runs, what they do is, um, it, it's a really good place to mine when you need minerals, but like, don't run into the asteroids. Normally when you have slightly larger ships, it's really not that much of an issue because you can tank them pretty well. What I should have done in that situation is use my um, use my shield to tank it. I just didn't in time. I'm not going to go up that way though, because it's it's honestly just too high level. It's going to get me killed. The zones uh, determine the difficulty. Yeah. So if you want more difficulty, you just go to harder zones. There is definitely an advantage of, like, punching above your belt. Uh, you know, bu above your weight class. Uh, you'll get more loot. You'll you'll level up faster. But I would... I, 
there's also really not that much of an advantage of um of debris fields that are like way past your level. Uh oh, the boss is firing missiles at me. I want to take out that Murata that was shooting at me, but not fight the boss. Where was that? Here it is. Secret debris field. These debris fields are a really good way to level up your tech level to allow you to gain access to better equipment, like that cloaking device that I had but lost. And then these debris fields are also a great uh, source of scrap metal, which you can turn into upgrade kits, and also a really good source of um, a really good source of energy cells. So if you don't want to purchase your energy cells because you're trying to save and scrap for uh, better equipment, it's it's a really effective way to uh, to save money, not time. It does not save you time, but the tech level I need if I want better equipment. So my tech level's eight right now. And this is out of 50. You want to be able to mark the hidden debris fields? It would be nice. I mean, there is a little bit of um, a graphical sprite on the map where they are. If you look close enough, there's a tiny little orange sparks, but they're very hard to see, like purposefully. Especially in a dark sector like this one. Ooh, refined metal. It would be nice if you could make notes on the solar system maps. You're right about that. All that we really need to do is to have letters and numbers on this grid. So you could just write a note of, like, debris field at, like, you know, um, A7 or something like that. That would be a really easy solution to have the ability to track hidden debris fields and the like. All right, let's jump. and see if we can't find more COT bases, because that's what you guys want. Not here. Oh, there was an upgrade kit at the last uh, zone I was at. Might be worth going back to just scoop that real quick. Because otherwise you have to make them. This is the only station in this sector. Auto mod, how clean of a channel do I run? Well, I am family friendly. I don't even cuss. Double escape pod. Sorry, Lenny. Uh, I'm destroying you. <laughs> I don't have space for you. It's too bad that there's no, like, award for rescuing um, derelict pilots. I mean, sometimes there is. Sometimes you actually get technology or even ships out of it going to those distress signals, but... When you bring them into um, a station and you you dismiss them, they, they don't pay you or anything. They're just like, ah, thanks for doing all the work. Bye. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Sure, never to help you again. Yeah, there is named special crew. Um, some of them are even named after content creators. That um, I guess the developer wanted to to court in terms of making uh, content for. But uh, not not yours truly. Okay, I'm somewhat heading into more dangerous territory again.
So I gotta be careful where I'm going. And still looking for that COT. You guys still want it? I'll still search. Someday. Spotted Owl, thanks for the sub. There's a Vengi base here. Doesn't help me. Tis the enemy. Oh, here's another asteroid run. Uh, rip. Maybe this time I try to survive long enough to jump out of here. What's funny is, like, you get to a point where these are so inconsequential and really easy to survive, but not at my level. They're scary at my level. You don't have to mark them down, though. Yeah, near miss. There we go. Escape an asteroid rush alive. You don't have to mark them down because they have a very unique um, icon when you're uh, when you're there. There we go. Strafe speed up. But as I said before, the asteroid rushes are awesome to mine at because essentially minerals are being thrown at you and you can't even process them faster than they slam into your ship. <laughs> Oh, nothing there. All right, let's keep looking. Not sure how much backseating I, I want. Uh, I'll put it this way. I've leveled up to level 50 multiple times. Uh, what there is to know of this game, I know. Human termination required. Yeah, I'm not working for you, Vengi. So this is what a Vengi station looks like. If you open fire at it, you can see all these um, little lasers that will fire on you, and oh, Jesus. And it takes a considerable amount of strength to be able to take them on. So that's not something I'm doing right now. There's a boss over there. Skylar Johnson. Spicy Jazz, yeah, almost a year. Thanks for the reset. Oops, that hurt. Uh, in these debris fields, there are little white things, which are mines. And I was not mining, minding where I was driving and hit one of them. <laughs> and it almost tore my ship in two. You know, like you do. Oh, there. Heavy mine weapon just sitting right there. And hostiles are warping in, so you know what? I am out. by. Oh, no, don't do this to me. It, there's a distress signal in an asteroid rush. Eep. 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 And it's dark as hell. Get me out, get me out, get me out! Oh, yeah! Oh, into another one? I'm sorry, but what did I do to deserve this? Oh, God. No, down. Okay, I'm charged. Woo! And a boss that I teleported onto. Uh, there is a ship, a Fizar, which is um, somewhere on this map that I detected with my loot analyzer. But uh, with that boss bearing down on me, it is... I've now saved, so I can't lose progress, but that that's unfun. Be gone, boss. It's a pretty low-level boss, so maybe I would have been able to take it if I wasn't damaged to hell. But I'm pretty damaged to hell, so... To be avoided. Alright, question. Should I keep looking for the COTs? <laughs> there we go. Because it has been a minute of poking around, trying to find... And I have not made any progress yet. I found one COT base, but they weren't selling what I wanted to buy. 
it's not a problem to settle. I'm gonna easily make enough money to be able to just buy a, uh, the, the ship that I want when I find it, I'm sure. But I can keep looking too, it really is up to you. All of this exploration is also leveling up my exploration knowledge, which is giving me even better um, signals and loot detection range and faster warping and all that stuff. So it does serve a separate purpose too. I'm just not finding much out here. Oh, come on, I warped in on one? That's just a low blow. So there's a distress signal, but a whole- wow, you're fast. Help me as scaroused. Vengi base here. What? Come on, missile. Leave me alone. And it's a driller ship. You know what I could do is, ooh, Pathfinder, is I could show you how to tug a, oh dear Lord. I could show you how to tug uh, the driller ship in to sell it with a tractor beam if they sell tractor beams here. So let's see about that. Uh, first, power capacitors. What happened to my ship? I want to stay docked. Thank you. Ow! <laughs> I'm getting batted around. All right, so did they have a tractor beam? They do. I'm going to buy it. Go to my equipment. Swap out the heat sink. Stick in the tractor beam. Tractor beams bound to, let's say, five? Pathfinder 3.0, nice. And then head over to the driller. Get close enough. Hit five. And I can now tow it into port to sell it. The, the quality of the tractor beam determines the strength. Now that it is in port, if I go to the uh, trade here, you can see the driller. It's a class one shuttle, it's crummy, um, but I can sell it. So I can either sell it with the items on it. The items that are on it are just like a nuclear reactor and a shield or whatever. So I'm gonna, I can swap to it to check like this and then go to the hangar and see nuclear reactor, impulse drive and gyroscope, which I could unequip if I wanted to and then swap back. Um, and then I can either sell it or if I had a passenger, I could, and I'm not doing this, but I could add it to my fleet. So I could say, hey, Skylar or Uno, you can become the captain of the driller, and then I could issue orders to the driller. But in this series, I want to be a dogfighter, meaning that I fight alone and for myself. So what do you mean? Three? Oh, right. Um, so I unequipped these items, but I, they're still in the ship cargo. So if I wanted to take them out, I deposited them into the, into the equipment stash. And then I can sell the driller. I can sell the reactors and impulse drives, and that's how to tractor things around. But I'm going to sell my tractor beam. I'm actually going to sell my heat sink for uh, a nuclear battery or a reactor. All right, let's keep looking. You guys voted for me to look. Can I hit other ships? Yeah, it depends on whether or not you have collision uh, on or not. But if you have collision on, you can definitely like tractor things around. There's even weapons that kind of act like that. Um, like torpedoes use the inertia of the your ship as um, as its speed and trajectory. They're because they're because they're uh, dumb fire. They're very hard to use is the fact that they're dumb fired, but they do a lot of AOE splash damage when they land. So they're really good at killing like fleets if you're good with them. I suck with them, so I don't, I tend to avoid them. All right, I'm gonna warp up. So I'm not going into harder territory.
Something else that might help for me to find bases quicker is a better scanner. So next time in a, I'm at a port, I'll look to see if there's like a scanning booster and swap the swap something out for the scanning booster. Maybe my lateral thrusters and gyroscope because I don't really care about the maneuverability if I'm just shopping around. I have played uh, Drox Operative. Yeah, this is pretty similar to Drox. I can see that. Oh, pirate lair. Yeah. Throw the brakes. This wasn't a pirate sector, though. So, there still might be... A rebel base. You wish un unequipping would go into the U universal storage when you're like stripping ships? That would be nice. That would be really nice. Because I always forget that second step of having to put it into storage. Okay, I don't, I don't see anything here. Found a jump gate. This must be a pirate hideout. Yep, there it is. This will eventually pay off. I haven't really been checking the equipment, so let me do that this time. Repair bays, cargo expansion. So they do have a sensor amplifier, but it's not a lot of amplification. I'm gonna buy it anyway, just cause I'm, it's gonna help. It's just not gonna help that much. And I will ditch my lateral thrusters for it. So that allows me to scan further out to spot um, stuff to jump to. So it helps a little. Uh, there is some sort of faction fight going on here, so let's check that out. Uh, it is knights taking on the Vengi Ascension. What do the numbers represent? Um, the difficulty of the zone. So right now I'm a level 19, but my gear is not level 19. My gear is terrible, so I'm effectively like a level 10 or something. But my gear is level 19, and that um, and it indicates that it's the zone is roughly at my level. Oh no, not one of these. And then gray is it's too easy for you, so you're not going to get a lot of experience there. And then red is it's way too hard for you. You're going to die in one shot. And yellow is the just right. Hey, another boss. And there's a pod down here. Ooh, I missed it. Get out of here. Oh, I didn't miss it. I don't have space. Sorry. I'm just destroying the other two people. Don't worry, they won't uh they won't complain. Cuz they're dead. Hanger repair bonus. All right, I'm destroying you too. <laughs> Probably never going to have a hanger. 
Because if I'm a dogfighter, it means I'm a Corvette. And if I'm a Corvette, it means no, no carriers. My luck trying to find these COTs. The COT bases are pretty rare. Oh, hidden debris. But I'll keep polling just to make sure you guys don't lose your mind with impatience. I might throw in a few quests here or there when I'm in the right level of a zone, just to spice it up a bit, though. So it's not just an exploration stream. It's giving me... Uh, Star Sector vibes, trying to find... I had, ran a Star Sector series where I was trying to find a good place to form a uh, colony, and it took me forever to find a good solar system. Uh, this is a Red Skull territory with a green fleet, so that's either a syndicate or mining fleet heading to it. See if I can find a Dorothy ship. Honestly, I could probably settle for a Razor at this point. It's not that much of a difference. It's not going to be penalizing. You know what? I kill you. Kill you with my. Never mind! Kill you with kindness. Because <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm just praying to see Children of Terra territory at the top there. It's not likely to happen. That's a cool looking planet. Not very hospitable. Pretty cool. Oh, Iridium. Iridium is the rarest uh, metal that exists in the game. Yoink. Don't mind if I do. And I picking that up gave me the blueprints for the Ardonian component, which is the most difficult to craft component in the game, giving you access to some of the end game tech, like building your own ships, like your own dreadnoughts. Fancy stuff. Only a pirate layer here. Rip my luck. So I'll put the transmitter, fine metal scrap in, missile ammo sold, and I'm going to start checking these uh, stations that I'm going to for ships. So this one doesn't even have a Corvette to buy. There is a better sen sensor amplifier, though. A 2.5 parsec. So for my sanity, I'll buy that. Um ditch the old one, and I'm actually going to upgrade this one to purple to give me a three parsec scan. So if you look at here, I can scan a lot further out. I can basically scan almost my full warp distance, which gives me a lot more um, flexibility as to where I want to go. Wow, there's nothing here. There is an eagle. Wow, they're not very expensive because they're not very good. Is this a sandbox game? It is. Hey, it's a PMC territory. That's nice. And it's level 42. That's actually really helpful. So, from a veteran player, one thing I can tell you is when you go to a PMC base, make sure that if they're selling the PMC refinery, that you buy it. Don't ask me why. I don't want to spoil it for later on, but just trust me. You're going to want to buy it. 
So that would be in an equipment here, and it would be at the bottom, and you'd see PMC Refinery. It's a kind of a rare thing to find. The PMC Collector Beams aren't bad either, but the um, the PMC Refinery is is uh, super important and very hard to find late, late game. So if you find one, buy it. Just Just do it. Just trust me. Do it and scrap it. Reaper and Venoms. Okay, nothing here. Uh, what about Contacts? Another mining station. I'm starting to get into kind of uh, high-level territories, so... Let me go back to the lower-level stuff. Yeah, the mining reactor is really good. The refineries are... Honestly, I would say the, the only item in this game that's, like, required late game is the PMC refinery. That's the, the only thing you can't really live without. The TLDR, the spoiler, is it's the only way to really refine iridium. So if you want to make Ardonian components in mass, you need a PMC refinery, or actually you need like five of them. <laughs> you need like a whole bunch of them, which is why I say scrap it and... Uh... Ow! Piss off. Oh, this thing's gonna kill me. Civilian, help me! Help me! You are not helpful! Bye-bye! This is why you don't go into hard <laughs> territories. Luckily, I uh, autosave all the time, so... I did lose the, um... All I really lost was the sampler amp sensor amplifier that I'm just gonna rebuy right now. What did I ditch for this? I don't even remember. Oh, just take the old one out. Well, that makes sense. All right, I'll make sure to save this time around. But my my luck of finding what I'm looking for is bad. This zone's owned by independence, so they must have a base here. It's gotta be over here. So this is areas that I've already been to. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go down here where it's not so high level that it's gonna crush me. Sort of the center of the galaxy is the easiest, and as you uh, explore out from the center, it gets harder and harder. So if you're trying to go look for familiar to or for uh, for new bases, but you don't want to get absolutely smoked by anything that pops in on you, just do sort of a circular orbit around the the center there, and you'll find what you're looking for eventually, or or maybe not, because you know luck can keep screwing you over. So here's a speeder, Sophia Smith. She is a turning speed pilot. And then there's a speeder ship up here that I could tow if I had a tractor. Oh no, it's not here. It's somewhere around here though. Can you make a station? Nope. I don't know if that's planned content, possibly, but no, you, Stations can be destroyed, but they cannot be created. I mean, hypothetically, you could probably destroy all the stations in the game uh, if you had a strong enough ship or fleet. Because the... And, and that actually happens often. The fleet battles that happen, if often if the player doesn't intervene for the defender, the station that is being attacked by the fleet often gets destroyed. So it's fun to intervene, and there's actually a lot of perks and advantages to intervening. <sighs> Man, this this luck. It's brutal. Okay, uh is it settling time? 
What do you guys think? Do I finally settle for a lesser ship? Even if it's lesser by just tiny margins. Or do I keep going? I wonder where these miners are going. They seem to be going straight for the boss, but that doesn't make any sense. Ooh, Trader Codex 3.0. Hey, Bixable, thanks, thanks for the, uh, the reset. <laughs> That's better than my 1.0 I was sporting. Uh-oh. Now I'm getting shot at. Time to bounce. Rev! Thanks for all the gifted subs. I think I'm in a Vangi sector. There's a bunch of Vangi here. Well, that planet's suffering from Kessler Syndrome, if I've ever seen it. Still a tie, huh? Alright. I can flip a coin. If it results in a tie, I'll give you one more minute to vote. Spacio is adorable? No, oh, thank you. I didn't want him to suffocate in the vacuum of space, so... Gotta put a helmet on him. Thank you for tuning in to Star Valor, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 30th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios.